tuna kuchukuru baba mtakatifu kwa wema na fadhili zako asante bwana ulie tu ulie tukuka kwa maana imekugarimu mkono wako sisi wote tuweze kupatikana katika nyumba hii imeitwa kwa jina lako ni hakika bwana umetulinda siku sita zimerudi nyuma yetu imegarimu mkono wako kutulinda kututunza kutuhifadhi bwana sifa na shukrani sikurudia wewe maana wewe ni Mungu wetu zaidi ya hiyo bwana jinsi ambavyo tumeweza kuwa kristo katika kikao hiki tumekutandika katika kikao hiki tukiwa na mambo tofauti kila mmoja ameingia katika kikao hiki akiwa na tamani sana aweze kukutana nao kwa bila yetu ya kwamba unajua ya hitaji la kila mmoja wetu ambaye ameingia katika kikao hiki kwa bila yetu ni kwamba bwana kila mmoja atakapokuwa kutoka katika kikao hiki aweze kusema ya kwamba kweli nimeweza kukutana na bwana wetu zaidi ya hiyo bwana katikati mwetu kunao walioko wagonjwa tunakuomba bwana kwa huruma zako uweze kukutana na uweze kuleta uponyaji wa kipekee kwa kila mmoja ambaye yuko katika kikao hiki ili bwana atakapokuwa akiondoka katika kikao hiki aweze kuhisi vyema na aweze kujua ya kwamba ni kwa uwepo wako ambao bwana anaweza kumfanya aweze kuponya zaidi ya hiyo baba wengine wamekuja katika kikao hiki hawajui watakula nini hawakukula hata breakfast lakini bwana una sababu ya haya yote na jiopo bwana tunakuomba wakati kila mmoja wetu atakapokuwa akitoka katika kikao hiki aweze kujihisi ya kwamba ametoka katika nyumba ya baba yake mahali ambapo ataweza kupata chochote ahitajisho maana Biblia inatuambia ya kwamba vyote vilivyomo katika dunia hii ni mali yako. Kwa hivyo pamoja nasi tuajiweka mikononi mwako ili Bwana uweze kututumia kama vyombo vilivyo dhaifu. Ili Bwana tunaponena Bwana sauti yako imeweza kusikika. Zaidi ya hiyo Bwana mtumishi wako ndugu Austin anaposimama mbele ya watoto wako Bwana umtumie kama shombo ili bwana sauti itakayo kuwa ikitoka katika kinywani mwake bwana sisi wote ambao tunaozikia ya kwamba tuweze kusikia sauti za malaika zikinena pamoja nasi ili bwana tutakapokuwa tukitoka katika kikao hiki tuweze kusema kweli bwana umekuwa pamoja nasi umetutembelea na zaidi ya hiyo bwana umeweza kutupa ushindi ili bwana baada ya haya yote ambapo tumeweza kupitia katika dunia umetua hidi ya kwamba tutaweza kutuandalia makao na makao haya tumeandaliwa kila mmoja wetu na kwa hivyo ni wakati wetu ambapo bwana kila mmoja aweze kudai makao haya tujiweka mikononi mwako tunapoanza kuanza pamoja nasi na umaliza pamoja nasi katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na hata kwa nini tunena na vikons na diponeses waweze kujiadaa nikiomba kwaya ya vijana muweze kujipanga hapa mbele ninapoendelea ili mtakapokuwa mmefika hapa tutakuwa tumeanza kusanya sadaka ajapo moja ambapo nitependa tuweze kuangalia ni ya kwamba na kitabu cha Daniel tatu kinatupatia kisa cha vijana watatu ambapo walikuwa wamepewa amri na mfalme ili waweze kusujudu sanamu ambayo mfalme alikuwa ametayarisha lakini tunaona ya kwamba vijana hawa wakawa waminifu kwake Mwenyezi Mungu kiasi ya kwamba wakati tanulu ilipowekwa mara saba ni ya kwamba mfalme hakuamini ya kwamba Mungu wao angeweza kuwaokoa katika moto ule. Lakini baada ya yote mfalme aliweza kusema ya kwamba ni Mungu gani huyu ambaye anaweza kuokoa watu kutoka kwa tanulu ambaye alikuwa ameitengeneza. Na kwa hivyo katika hali hii mfalme akaweza 
kwa mulu ya kwamba watu wote katika nchi waweze kumwabudu Mungu wa Shadrach na Meshach na Abednego kwa sababu ya uaminifu. Sijui katikati mwetu ni wangapi walio waaminifu. Jibu unayo ni wakati mzuri wa kuweza kutoa sadaka kwa uaminifu. Jinsi Mungu amekubariki. Na kwa hivyo ni wakati mzuri ambapo tumefika tuweze kutoa sadaka katika njia ya uaminifu. Nina expect our deacons and deaconesses waweze kusimama ili tuweze kupata huyu. Okay, tunaomba. Utupendae Mungu na Baba wetu. Tunakuja mbinguni pako tukiwa na wiki wa shukra. Ni wakati wa kujitoa miri yetu na mali yetu kukutolea wewe uliye mkuu. Utupatie nafasi hii ili Bwana tuweze kushiriki katika mibaraka. Habari Bwana umeahidi ya kwamba yeyote atakaye shiriki katika mibaraka hii ni hakika Bwana utamwasha mbele. Uwe nasi tunapoanza na mpaka tutakapomaliza uwepo wako uwe pamoja nasi. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba na hata kuamini. Wakati unalipo ukazia ndeje ya zamoyo wako na maono ya macho yako moyo wako uchanga mshete na kadiri ya mapenzi yako lakini ukumbuke yataletwa ukumuni furahi ya ujana wako ewe zangu wakati ungalipo ukazia ndeje ya zamoyo wako na maono ya macho yako moyo wako uchanga mshete na kadiri ya mapenzi yako lakini ukumbuke yataletwa ukumuni furahi ya ujana wako ewe zangu wakati ungalipo ukazia ndeje ya zamoyo wako na maono ya macho yako moyo wako uchanga mshete na kadiri ya mapenzi yako lakini ukumbuke yataletwa ukumuni furahi ya ujana wako ewe zangu wakati ungalipo ukazia ndeje ya zamoyo wako na maono ya macho yako moyo wako uchanga mshete na kadiri ya mapenzi yako lakini ukumbuke yataletwa ukumuni Ah, 
ayo shago yao ilikuwa imezingiwa na maji so watoto walikuwa wakiamka kwenda shule wakirudi wana swim na fishing eh na anajua kufisha aya ah, watoto walikuwa wanaenda lakini walikuwa wanaambiwa kila wakienda wasiende peke yao waende na mtu mzima ama mama yao ama baba yao so siku moja hao vijana wakangoja mami na dadi wakishaenda wakatoroka wakafanya nini wakatoroka wakaenda pale kwa maji peke yao wakaanza kuswim wakaswim wakaswim wakachoka akasema sasa wacho wacho wachukue boat waende waende kwa ndani ya maji waende kufish samaki wakachukua boat wakaingia wote ndani wakaanza ku row boat naja Mwaka wakutua masa imeenda sana na wakati mingini ikifika jioni maji na kwanga na upepo mwingi na faa mtote machini wala kutua kashika samaki masa ikafika jioni sa kumi na mbili wana faa kudi nyumbani na bado wakupali wakashikilia samaki hadi wakachoka wakasema ah sasa tumechoka tufanya mbini wakajaribu kusui mbak wakashindwa wakajaribu kusui mwaenda wafiki ele bot wakashindwa wakaanza kulia wako kwa maji unajua kusimu wako kwa maji wanaanza kulia wakagia wakakumbuka ya kwamba hakika waliambiwa wasende majini peke yao lakini bahati nzuri ama mbaya ilikuwa na boti nyingine ikakuja ikaweza kuokoa wakatoka pale majini na wakaenda nyumbani walipofika nyumbani wazazi wao kuachapa maana walikuwa wanaoombea lakini wakawakumbusha ya kwamba it is good to Obey. They did not obey and that's why waleza kupatwa na hilo cha jamba. So watoto wetu leo, let us learn to obey. When you obey your parents, you obey God. So when you obey your teachers, you obey God. So let us learn to obey. My story ends there. Thank you. Kiswahili basi, kiswahili sanifu, sindiyo? 
Ah uh, nimeshukuru sana. Ah uh, nimekuja hapa na mtu mmoja uh, very special. Ah uh, kuja special person. This is the only woman imagine all over the world. <laughs> all over the world. Unajua mimi nafanya public speaking. So I go na aina hizo inchi za ngambo huko huko. Imagine this is the only lady. Hadi si uko special. <laughs> Happy Sabbath Church. Uh, my name is Sarah Ovinia and uh, I'm from we are from New Life uh, Crystal Fountain SDA Church sorry. Ilikuwa previously it was New Life. That's why I'm confused kidogo yeah. Uh, it's pleasure to worship with you this Sabbath. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much. Uh uh-huh. Apa to Gamalizaka to the fan, right? To the fan, eh? That is a star of music. You're to Gamalizaka. I'm not going to ask you about your opinion. About the time I should be finishing. I'm not going to ask you about your Nimalize saa saba ama tenutati Alapu to seven, as many as the opinions say aye We are not going to do that Easy finance bill <laughs> But Roma Mungu, Najua, I'm a teacher So I know how to use my time And I also read the moods of people Nikiyama mtu mwenda kiyao nivi Tuna seven amen, tuna oma So kwa majika na ito Dr. Austin Omanya Mimi ni mwalimu wa chuo kikuu cha KCA University na mimi ni mwana psychology counseling psychologist by the way for your information sijauliza kuna mtu yeyote hapa hivi amewahi niona duniani hii dunia nzima kuna mtu mmoja hata hivi amewahi niona from this church baka mkono juu niona one uh huh. We don't Na inakuja kwa Saturday like before watu wakuje kanifani. Na niko pia KUTV Thursdays, niko KBC on Monday, Hope Channel Kenya nilikuwa na every Saturday. Na nyinyi hizo mwoch. Kama hujai niona, inamaanisha hizo <laughs> you don't watch. Una watch nini? DJ Afro. Hey. hey. <laughs> Ah, uh, misawa. Ah, uh, mara ya pili kuja hapa. Mara ya kwanza. Nilipokuwa nimeambiwa hii story long time ago. There is somebody called Godo. Where is Godo? Unajua hivi ndio makanga wanakuanga. Makanga. Unajua makanga? Kadi bangi mbao 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 na yeye anabaki kwa stage. <laughs> Godo na kunibai. Eh eh. Uh, Gordon is the one who has led me to come here. Amen. <laughs> because Gordon, we've been working. I've got a group here, we've got a group here, na kufanya inspiration. Killers win to na ombaga. Why is a group? So Gordon is in one of those groups. Na identify na ali na vya kita. Sijui mwezwa pili. Something like that. So ni kama bukia siku ya leo. Nukwa na fani kwe maamu high school. Lakini ni kama mbia pala. Aida musongeshe. Ama because leo ni siku ya wapi? Kareo bange sawa. Wacha tuwamu. We thank you Jesus because you are in this meeting. And right now Lord, we are requesting for power to understand every single word that you are going to speak today in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Kuna chama moja kutoka nchini Tanzania. Alikuwa na ita Sumani. Sumani alikuwa mwanariadha na kumbuka wakati huo ulikuwa wakati wa president mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Jakaya Kikwete sa sulumani unajua kawaida wanapoitwa ikulu wanapewa bendera ya nchi 
kabla akabidhiwe bendera ya nchi yake ya Tanzania rais akamwambia maneno mangapi akamwambia nenda uwakilishe nchi yetu go and represent our country number two, akamwambia akikisha umemaliza nini mbio how many instructions mbili number one, akikisha umefanya nini utuwakilishe kama nchi ya Tanzania number two, whatever it takes akikisha umefanya nini umemaliza mbio wow Japan ni enda pale akachukua bendera akasema niwe ni wali I'll do my best. Sijui hapa hivi wenzangu kama kuna mtu amewahi anzisha ka project hivi na kidogo kidogo hivi kidogo kidogo hivi akaachana naye. Akaingia kwa project mradi mwingine kidogo kidogo hivi akaja achana na naye. Sasa unapoangalia maisha yako baada ya mwaka mzima 12 months You've done something we call next to nothing. Una watu kama hao. Lakini Sulumani alipoenda pale mjini Beijing na akasema the two words ilimsumbua sana. Do you know usiku wa kuamkia kesho sasa mbio kinyanganyiro. Do you know mtu alienda akaiba kiatu chake? Kiatu cha right kiatu kimoja hivi cha right mtu alienda kaiba so <laughs> watu wameitwa watu wameitwa wanadada pigeni foleni hapa hivi tuwakague pia tuwatambue sulemani alikuwa kama cartoon ushaona mtu akona socks socks moja <laughs> so saida viatu na socks na viatu hii saida akaulizwa hey what's happening kwa nini unakucha wanjani na kiatu kimoja? Are you are you sick? Akamwambia kiatu changu kiliibiwa usiku. Na hiyo haitani haitanizuia kufanya nini? Kuingia wanjani siku ya leo. Mpaka akaambiwa na refari hapana uwezo kaviana kimia na kiatu kimoja utaweza kweli tukupatie kiatu kingine. Akamwambia hapana muda sasa. Time Time. Walipo kumwangalia na ile determination alikuwa nayo wakasema acha tuachae huyu jamaa akimbia. Sulemani alikimbia. Na unajua ni marathon. Marathon. Full marathon ni how many kilometers? Watu wa Jabali. <laughs> Full marathon ni how many kilometers? 42. Good. 42 kilometers ni kama kutoka hapa uende mpaka Dika. Wakabiwa sit na bunduki pop go. Sulu mwana kaenda. Hakaenda na alikuwa anakimbia vizuri. Vizuri. Mpaka at one time yeye sasa ndiye anaongoza. Mpaka kumenteta anasema mimi sijaayo na kitu kama hichi. Yaani mtu hana kiatu na ametangulia unaona lakini Sulemani alipokuwa karibu kumaliza only 500 meters 500 meters ile kutoka hapa hivi na mahali tulipotea hapa na mahali hapa hivi yule mwanamke wa gugu mafali tuambia tuingie hapo kume si hapo hapa hivi kwa gara jingine hapa so jamaa alishikwa na kitu inaitwa masuku na kuuliza masuku ikikushika unakimbia <coughs> na akajaribu kusimama kidete uh, na mmoja lakini haingewezekana so aka collapse akaanguka na unajua pale kuna ndege kuna gari lingine hapa hivi ya fast aid kuna ambulance ndio kwani inafuata ikamwambia hey 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 can we help you akamwambia no 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 i'm okay i'm okay imagine mtu ameanguka na anasema i'm okay kama mamangu mamangu hata kama alikuwa mgonjwa hataki mmurimie so tunaona mam are you okay yes 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 imagine na mamangu sasa anakufa hata yule mwanamke hata kama unajua mamangu alikuwa anapika chakula anapika 
Lakini because chakula wakati huo kilikuwa kito by the way ila njaa ilikuwa inatoka wapi by the way Chakula kilikuwa kidogo sasa mangu anapiga hivi anawaletea sasa ana anashabikia ya anakuwa fun sasa nyinyi mnakula kwanza mnamalizia I think I was the only person mwenye alikuwa anawekea mamangu cha nini hivi kaogani hivi naambia ah mam hii si fair chukua hii ah wengine mandume hey wanafika kila kitu huyu mamangu huyu jamaa alipanguka hivi na akasema i'm okay akamwambia pana you need some help akamwambia no 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 unajua ni nini ikili msumbua asumani Sumani alikuwa ameambiwa maneno mawili pale Tanzania. Alikuwa na pale jambo la kwanza lilikuwa nini? Naenda kumtuwakilisha si ni kweli. Jambo la pili? Hakikisha umefanya nini? Sasa unajua pale ukitolewa na uwekwe ndani ya ambulance. Hey, mbio yako imeisha hapo hivi. Ndio kwa maana alikuwa anasema I'm okay because alikuwa anataka pumue kidogo tu kisha baadaye analenda nini? Kinanganyiro. Do you know? Watu wakampita watu wengine wakampita na wale walimwacha hivi lakini sumani alisema liwe ni wale lazima nimalize by the way kwa tasabaka hivi if you can't fly do what if you can't fly run if, what about if you can't run walk if you can't walk crawl if you can't crawl very good wrong so sulman so akasema yes siwezi nika fly siwezi nika uh, uh, run siwezi nika walk siwezi nika crawl i'll run imagine akajiweka hivi kwa barabara akirun hivi akienda sasa imagine mtu wa kwanza alishafika kitango mpaka hata belly kalia um, akapewa hata medani na sulman ndio huyu ana rola kikuta sasa kwa do you know something funny hata yule namba wa kwanza tv sasa aimuonyeshi sasa tv iko wapi kwa uja by the way kama unataka kuwa celeb kuwa kama embaramara utakuwa celeb by the way yes naona watu wakingangana na youtube nini 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 do you know if you do something uh so bad you become a celeb that is how the world wants things to be done ya kwamba kila mtu anajaribu afanye you know anything bad so that you become a celeb <laughs> all the videos zilikuwa kwa ujama commentator alipofika pale hivyo na kamaliza race kum, media yote wakakuja wakamuliza hey hello gentlemen how are you are, are you okay now Come here. Yes, I'm okay. Why do you say you're okay and you couldn't run? You got injured. Why are you saying you're okay? Now come on here. Listen to these guys. I am the happiest man. Imagine I'm Melissa last. Na nasema he is the happiest man. Mtoto wako akikuwa na maamsho. Na maamsho. Na anakwambia, "Mom, I'm happy." Yes. I'm the last person in our class. Why well, mama tufaili? Afadhali mama wako akaenda shuleni. Sikupata hiyo pressure. Yeah? So So the man and police why was this determination? Akamwambia sikizeni. Nilipokuwa nikitoka nchini nchi yangu Tanzania na rais wangu akanikabidhi abendere na kaniambia mambo mawili. Jambo la kwanza lilikuwa Ensure me for your Utuwakilishe represent our country. Jambo la pili, ensure umemaliza nini? Na nimemaliza. I'm a happy man. Do you know he became the hero? Do you know he was even awarded? Because dunia mzima ali set record. He broke the record. Somebody who was injured, who was supposed to get out of the field, now became a hero. Am I talking to any hero here? Yes. Who has tried something and they have failed, wameanguka? Yes, watu wamewachekelea kama hana. Na wanataka to give up. Those are the heroes I want to speak to 
are we today? Topic yangu ya leo inasema nani? Unaona posta ama mkoana? Inasema aje arise and walk again. Nimesoma nini? Arise and walk again. Waimaji wamemaliza sabuni yangu. Ndio kwa maana hata we have we only have like 10 minutes then we are going. Sikizeni. Jamaa amekaa pahali miaka na mikaka for past eight good years, miaka 30 na minane mahali. Jamaa amekuwa mkonjo. Na bibi yake akamtoroka. Babake hatumuoni. Watu wa jamii hawako because inasemekana jamaa hangekuwa na nguvu wa kujirusha ndani ya birika. So kwa hivyo alikuwa anangoja tu. Anangoja tu, a roll hivi, a roll, a roll, aenda fanya nini? Akimbie. Aanguke ndani ya maji. Lakini mtu mwingine anapojaribu hivi because hana uwezo, hana nguvu nyingi anapojaribu ku roll hivi aingie ndani ya birika, nini nafanyika? Mtu mwingine anaenda mbele yake. Wah! Jamaa alikuwa amekasirika. Basi six na sana nini? Jesus already knew. Yesu alikuwa anajua huu jamaa amekuwa kwa hii in that condition for that long. Imagine, Yesu alikuwa anapita hivi, lakini ni roho akamwambia, kuna jamaa hapa anataka msaada wako. Amekaa hapa miaka na mikaka, lakini hakuna msaada. Leo mtembele Yesu akaenda pale na akaangalia jamaa na akasema leo hii your story is going to change and you know one thing i love with jesus when you meet jesus your story changes amen yes do you know mimi nilikuwa undertaker sio undertaker wa wrestling undertaker ni mtu anafanya nini kazi gani undertaker ni mtu anafanya kazi gani Oh wrestling. <laughs> and attacker ni ile mtu mtu alikufa hivi nini ndio unachimba nini kaburi. So home baada ya kufanya form 4 na sina mbele wala nyuma by the way hata kwenda high school ilikuwa kibahati hivi kibahati. Nikaenda high school. Nilipomaliza hiyo form 4 hivi I felt like mtu amemaliza university because ile mateso nilikula mateso ukumwahi fukuzwa kwa shule mpaka mwalimu akiona hivyo anakwambia satan umerudi hapa tena because hakuna nini kalo for one nilienda nikarudia class eight ile shule yangu ya kwanza kule nyumbani kwetu maji mwalimu alikuwa anajua mpaka kwetu mpaka alijua mamangu ajenda shule babangu hakamfanyie kitu so siku moja wakati nasomesha uh, social studies anakuja na mkamapi hivi atlas na natuliza capital cities so akaniuliza Austin what is the capital city of Rwanda nikasema Burundi hey in the national war akaniambia watu wa jinga wanakaje mbele <laughs> chukua bag yako mkoba wako naenda kule nyuma kazi unajua huko nyuma kulikuwa na nani kazi ni yangu alikuwa anaita Florence. Sasa so, Florence ya alikuwa anatufungia. Anytime tukifanya exam, yeye yeah, anakuwa huko chini. Anakuwa anaomba mwisho. Sasa so, kaniambia, mwalimu akaniambia, wewe ni kama hii kitu iko kwa familia yenu. <laughs> Because ni kama sisi ni wajinga sana. Imagine akanirudisha huko nyuma. Wakati nilikuwa naenda pale, wana fuzu walikuwa na check lamp hapo wanapiga magoti hivi. Eh? Na mimi vile tulikuwa tunaandika kwa composition vile i felt you know i felt as if the earth could open its door and swallow me what because hiyo embarrassment ilikuwa ya hali ya juu by the way in my life sijai embarrassiwa hivyo yes nikaenda pale do you know performance yako pia ilendaga na mimi nilikuwa na artist namba 13 hivi sijai kwa namba 1 by the way <laughs> but you know namba 13 so nikarudi na 14 15 Alafu tulikuwa 21 candidates wakati huo. Imagine mpaka nikajipata namba 20. The only person ninge ninge defeat ni kazi yangu sasa. So tukaanza kungangania hii namba 21. <laughs> mpaka saa zingine nakumbuka mimi ndio nilikuwa wa mwisho. Yes, na Florence sasa ana celebrate because at least for the first time amepata mtu wa kushinda. By the way nilianguka. Nilianguka. Unajua hiyo kitu 
hichi nilienda kwa damu zangu ah
mpaka najituna hivi na unajua unaweza furahia wakati mwingine kuna jina lako limesaulika <laughs> nikatoka hivi kuhesabu watu i will tell you this i will tell yes one two nikapata tuko 10 number 5 sikwa number 4 sikwa number 3 sikwa mpaka nikaona yeye tuko 3 hapa number 3 akaenda number 2 Austin Oman na nikashangilia ya mwalimu akaniambia kijana kuja 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 tulisema lazima kuwa namba 1 chini imagine na kanichapa tena hata ni feel vibaya alafu unajua wakati ule unaambia wewe ni mtoto mvulana ufai kulia nasimsha lembe ya wasichana nika kausha na mimi <laughs> to cut the long story short do you know that was the last time I was number two in that school? I became number one. See, number one, two in that school, in the entire zone. Number one, na nika itwa Mam High School. Hala umwezo mkanatiria kama kwa 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 Do you know, see, when a man, that's a story for another day, nita wambia. Ile kitu ni miamini hii dunia, ya kuwa makila mtu, anataka tu one one of encouragement. At your place of work, the only thing you need is one word of encouragement. That tomorrow will be a better thing. Because who Jama, I'm a car and yaka na mikaka, na na sama, he was very bitter. Ana sama kwa nini watu wana ruka mbele yangu na nini likuja hapa kitamu. Muka likuja hapa jana tu, na imagine na meruka, amepona, amaenda nyumbani. Na mimu wana miacha hapa. Yesu waka mwaliza swaligani. Musomaji wangu alienda wapi, ama mwipata visa, amaenda na ulaya. Yes, Dr. Moliza. J. Swali. Do you want to be made well? Do you want to be made well? Kwa Kiswahili, kwa Kiswahili. Wacha tu wasomee kwa Kiswahili. I have a Kiswahili version here. Usomaji, ndio ume umetoka nini? Wacha tusome. Aya, kila mtu akapo. Verses 5. Verses 6. Ndiyo. A Biblia yangu inasuma hivi. Na haya lipo mwona huyo mtu wa melala. Hapo. Na kugua. Ah. Na kufanya ni. Na kujua kwamba alikuwa meka hapo kwa muda mwingi. Aka muuliza Sasa sikiza swali Je wataka kupona Na kuliza Si Yesu Bibile metuambia Yesu alikuwa mejua Meugua kwa meka mingi Na kini kwa nini Yesu na muuliza Je wataka kupona Kwa nini na muuliza tena Je wataka kupona Aya wataka tuwapo hiyo Huyo mtu alumjibu waji Alumjibu hape Sina Wata niyane Wata niyane Wata niyane Sina nini Mimi sina mtu Sina mtu Sina 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 Two types ya kweka unga Wata ni kufundishe French Mwata Ilikuwa ya kweka jujui Na ito apora Sebe ni apora Na kuna hii Ya kuzipa hii Ilikuwa na ito Iyala Iyo So imagine mamangu Wame tuma Enda dina kutumia nini apora Apora tu Nimefika kwa mlangu Odika Odi hapa Dina hata jiniona Aida niona Sina Aki Sama hali hapa Nambia haki Hapa unungia na mtu wako kwa ke Nikabisha zelo Odi hapa Kijana nime kwambia sina Natuwa unataka unga Mimi sina unga ya kupaya Kia na jami Yani community Nikarubi kwetu Dina vile dina nekufa Dina sina. Dina mekufanga hivu. Three days na kuna mtu anajua dina aliyali. Na mejana aliza walikuja uro na Europe. Wadapotea wana namba ya sima. Na sisi tukesama tuka kana maiti yaka. Tukasama hakuna moja yali. Hakuna sanduku. Tukaenda tukatafuta nini? Blanket. Na tukamuraha. Na hivu tu ikaenda hivu. Waka kwa sisi tu. Mwana mwana nipata maiki meisha beki. 
Imagine, Dina alikufa, na kuna mtu alikuwa na jua. Na tuka mrap, na tuka mzika. Dina, sina. Huyo mtu, huyo mtu. Kama angalijua Yesu ni amekuja mkozi, anatika kumkomboa, anatika kumponya, angesama, yes, sir. Lakini kwa, kwa vile, huu jamaa, alijawa na bitterness. There are people who are bitter. Kuna watu hapo wanaishi 2015. Kuna jamu fulani ilifanyika wa maishani mwako. Lakini mpaka saizi, au jawadwai samee watu. Kuimba unaimba kwa ya? Hey, kuimba. Hey, ato unawiri huku. Lakini you are still attached to the bones. Kuna sama waki na nisi yesi nika samee. Alifanya hii. People are bitter. That is why this man was bitter. I can be yes. Where are you to? You know, put your book in here when you're being weak, when you're, you know, believe you. Mutu mingine, ana niya belian, na police, swali ni kuwa nini? Jail. Watanga kupole, sinio. Yakini, yeah, yeah, sinamu, sinamu. Watanga wasai de. This is what I do every day. I'm an inspirational speaker because I know what just one word like this can do in your life or in your, the life of your kid. I know. And maybe I'm one believer, every person who is born in this world can just be as powerful as they decide to know where All in the environment, as in a two-finger environment, and a lane environment, you have to by the way, I thought we were to our Jamin with a PhD in Makale. Our Jamin. Because, sister, to look at, you have to watch for the summer. Who are you? Who are you? Yes. And the first thing I did, those people who are working here, Mungu Akikubaliki, after being so poor, Mungu Eyo Pulotiako, Jengia Mamako, Jengia Wazazi. Akikisha wazazi wako wanalala pale pazuri wako na chakula. Usiku usitwambie hapa bwana usifiwe na wazazi wako wanatembea na matambara mbalimbali. Huyu Mungu wa Mungu gani na Mungu anatuhubiria hapa? So the first thing I did is to make sure that uh, my parents wale mwalimu alisema hawaeni bali, hawana mbele wala nyuma, tuwajenge. Na kwa patia stimu. Na kaambia muendelee kuniombea mimi hasi. God has answered your prayer mpaka leo. Hakuna siku wazazi wangu wamewahi na lunch. Wakati mwingine watu hawajui ni baraka yao imefichwa wapi. Unaweza kuja hapa Nairobi unatafuta job mpaka kiatu chako ndio kinajua offices. Kiatu chako kinaisha na so hivi. Umetafuta job. Why? Because ujui ni baraka yako ilifichwa wapi? Ima mbe kukomplain na kusama mimi sina sijui, sitaki, hizo masisi. Isipoisha kwa kinyo chako, hakuna siku utaenda belu. Hakuna siku utaenda belu. Utapata ta mtu, ana, ana, jana tu, mtoto ya mende shule, juhu ya meolewa na alusi. Na wei badu yiko siku. Najwa kina mama pia na watu wajabu sana. Anapo kuwa meka 20, 21st, hapu hivo. Okay, Mulisa, what kind of husband do you need? Well, your list is long. List. I need somebody who wants this. I need, I need, yes. The list is long. Watch a figure 35. That's why you mama, I'm going pressure on the society. When you go there, we go When you go there, at least see, see. When you go there, at least see, see. See, you know, I think it's just a little bit of a Yes. And I'm going to figure out a 35. One prayer item. Hana mambo me. God. Aman, 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 aman. All I need is what? <laughs> aman. But let me tell you something here. What I get in this text, Nikwamba, who jama kama siu yesu alikuwa no huruma? Who jama ange ka hapo na ange kufa hapo? The good news, Nikwamba, yesu hata haku muliza swali jingine because alikuwa mechuma who jama me safa Ya kutosha, anafaya ni nyumbani Anandalena kasi zake Yesu wakamambia three words Number one, arise 
Na mwanzo kwa nini? Kwa Kiswahili msomaji wangu. Wewe ulienda wapi msomaji wangu? Kwa Kiswahili. Akamwambia Yesu akamwambia Yes, simama. Number one, the first statement. Anamwambia nini? Simama. Ujumbe wangu wa leo nimekuja hapa kwa ajili ya mtu mmoja tu. Yule mtu ana feel dunia ni mfinya. Dunia ilinifinya kweli kweli. Lakini mimi nani? Nilisema Mungu nimesimama kijati na wewe. Ijapokuwa jamii wamenikatia kauli ya kwamba I'm heading nowhere but I know God. You can make me go somewhere. Amen. Today is I'm somewhere. Kata sio who? Of God. So I want to talk to someone here. Ya kwamba today whatever is holding you back. Wewe unajua hiyo kitu vizuri sana. Whatever is holding you back in your mind. Na unasema sitaweza. Luke 18:27 inasema nini? Usomaje? Naam. Inasema nini? Luka Kumina nani? Luka 18:27 inasema nini? 18:27 inasema nini? Biblia takatifu linasema akasema yasiyowezekana kwa wanadamu yasiyowezekana kwa nani kwa binadamu yanawezekana kwa nani kwa Mungu yanawezekana kwa Mungu unajua huu ndio uchumi watu hawajaelewa humanity hawajaelewa hii watu wanakuja kwa ofisi za ofisi yangu wananiambia mimi dunia imenichapa sioni nikielekea mahali bwana aliniacha hata ukiacha na bwana wacha nikwambie you can still be the best mother single mother in the world hata unajua kwa siku siku hizi wanatuachana eh hey, women eh hey, fear women take some five minutes to fear women also yes ukiachwa let me tell you there's somebody who can fight on your behalf i wish all of us can just know what jesus can do i wish all of you could share your testimonies here Do you know that waking up today kuja kanisani is a blessing? Do you know it is a miracle? Do you know you may not have money but you are healthy by the way for your information. The first time nili admitiwa to hospital to hospitalini ilikuwa Homa Bay. Wale wanatoka Homa Bay mnajua Homa Bay. Wow 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 wow. Hiyo hospital ilikuwa mbaya mbaya na nikapelekwa huko. Na kuna daktari mmoja tu alikuwa anafaa amefanyia upasuaji. Na nikapata pale nikapelekwa ward 1. Ward 1 iko hapa na mmoja ni iko hapa. Wewe <laughs> David aje mwa alikuwa na nia gani? Nikufe mimi, mimi. So uvuno usi alafu Ben tulikuwa tuna share. Imagine mko na kuna kidonda kidonda hapo kwa mguu. Alafu lazima lale hivi alafu wewe kwa lako yani nalala hivi kama wewe mguu yake kienda hivi mguu yake inaenda chini unaona so <laughs> usiku wa manane jamaa kaletwa mkuria sio alikuwa na kombania ya shamba akadumba mshale hapa ikatoka wewe so unajua mshale uwezuka lazima ifanye upasuaji hivi ndio itolewe jamaa alikuwa anavuja damu na imagine size hizo niko form 2. Sasa mimi pale ndio nikakuwa waiter. Yaani nikakuwa messenger. Naambiwa wewe hata leta karai. Pika dasta. Imagine na mimi mgonjwa na mmoja daktari wangu on, on, on Wednesday. Mama alipokuja by the way ujamaa alikufa hapo hivyo na kapelekwa. Akapelekwa because alikuwa amekuja damu sana. My first time kuona mtu amekufa hiyo kitu ni traumatize mpaka nikamwambia mama mama daktari anasikia anakuja on Wednesday sasa mimi sikai hapa ati hapa lazima ngoje daktari alikuwa amepika kuku akanletea usi hey nikamwambia mama baada ya kula hiyo kuku nikamwambia sasa kama unataka matibabu uh, unaweza kaa hapa unabia <laughs> utibiwe kila kitu niliona jana siwezi sijaenda upas- upasuaji mpaka leo What's in the Do you know if you think your condition is worse? And uh, what's it done? Go there and see people suffering. You will come and appreciate life here. Yes, you may not have money. Yes, I'm a landlord. When the car, I'm a fungia nyumba. I'm a fungia nyumba. People 
Siku. Naambia watu kila siku. Ipo siku. There is a day God will change your story. Amen. And it may be today. Amen. Yule jamaa aliyoambiwa arise. Inuka. Chukua nini? Alafu fanya nini? I want say to somebody here today that God has given you today the power to walk because even that man was healed on a Sabbath like today. Amen. Can this Sabbath be your changing point? Amen. Can this Sabbath make sense to you? Ya kwamba yaani tena tu amuzi useme yes Mungu liwe ni wangu. Licha ya kwamba mimi naona maisha yamenianya hivi lakini najua kwa uwepo wako naweza nikasimama mara Naambia hivi. Kuna ile kijana alikuwa mwana mpotevu. Alipotea sana. Miaka mingi akaenda pa. Lakini siku moja Biblia yangu inaniambia Luka 15 verse 17. Naambia jambo lingine hapa hivi nataka usikie. Akasema nini? Siku moja tu. That is why naomba ipo siku. Akakaa chini akasema nini? 17 Luka 15 17. Ikasema nini? Inasema alipozingatia moyoni mwake. Hebu sikiza. Alipofanya nini? Zingatia moyoni mwake. When he came to his senses. Alikasema nini? Alisema. Alisema, ni watumishi wangapi wa baba yangu wanaokula chakula na kusaza na hapa ni nakufa kwa njaa. Nitafanya nini? Hapo hiyo ndio statement nataka kufanya leo. Nita Nita 18 Nita Nita Nitaondoka. Ando wapi? Nitakwenda kwa baba yangu. Nitakwenda kwa baba yangu. Nikumwambia. Nikumwambia asamee nani? Baba nimekosa juu ya bingu na mbele yako. Kwa hivyo, nistahili kuitwa mwana wako tena. Alafu, nifanye kama moja wa watumishi wako. Uh -huh. Akaondoka, akaenda kwa baba. Akaondoka, akaenda. Do you know why sometimes we take time to get out of what is holding us back? Because tunasema akina tutende walikuwa ya wengi walikuja wakaenda lakini dizia wakati mlikuwa mnaombewa watu wengine walijoin kwa ya dizia na wakasema this we are asking for my Christ lakini unapoangalia alikuja kanisa saa ngapi leo huwezi kusema unapoangalia huyu mwanakwa alikuja uh, sijui practice gani mpaka mwalimu sasa mwalimu anakuja mpaka anakasirika There are so many of us here. Tuwanunulie hii. Ufanye mchango. Imagine namaliza alafu ndio. Wewe wewe. au fanye mchango bwana Enzo uko hapo na yeye yule yote Hii ndio Ah tufanye mchango tufanye mchango tufanye mchango na muniite sawa Before muniite mchango Ah tusikize Kala sije ni kwa wapi my spokes person mwele na mahali kwa mkutani aya sikize ni jamaa haliketi chini akasama liwe ni wali yes dunia ili ni finya sini onge ya tukwa sauti yamu elda yamu ufanya mjangu my friend we are not going to do this eh Munaita mgena natoka all the way from Kajia. Na kuna Mike. Tutaye pesa sasa hizi. Ai. Tuendelee, msomaji. Tafadhali turudi pale tu. Naam. Alisema nini kijana? Samahani 20 nasema kaondoka akaenda kwa babaye akaondoka akaenda kwa babaye 
Fanya nini? Tuita godoro lako. Nafanya nini? Mtembee. Alitembea ama kutembea? Kama una feel siku ya leo. Kuna mahali labda umeshika. Wana kawa ni ugonjwa wa kushika. You spend a lot of money. If you think something, there is something that is not working for you. Kuna kitu uliandika vizia. God help me achieve this. Leo hii ni mwezi wa 7. Hawajafanya hicho kitu na hakuna hata dalili. Let me tell you. God who changes stories can change your stories today. Amen? Amen. Let us sing that song. I want such people here. I pray with them. Na tumalize. Song number 10. Christo wanema. Christo wanema. Somebody here whose marriage is crumbling, Lord. 
I know there's someone here who cannot even afford the school fee for their children. I know there's someone here, Lord, who is addicted to something, Jesus. But this is the day, Lord, you can set us free. Jesus, we invite you. Lord, is there something we've done that this prayer cannot reach you? Jesus, forgive us now. Because, Lord, we want this day to be our turning point when we come next Sabbath, Lord. We come here with our testimonies. And I know, Lord, as I say, impossible. We may be struggling for so many years. People have loved for us, uh, to us for so many years. And Lord, things are not working. But Lord, this day is the day you are walking around and looking at somebody to help. And you are asking us one question. Do you want to be made well? Yes, Lord. I want to be made well. I know everyone who has come here, everyone who has come to this church, they want to be made well, and that is why they're here. Jesus, can they receive healing in your name today, in Jesus' name? Amen. And Lord, I know you answer prayers. I pray for the leadership of this church. I pray for our choir, Lord. I know the devil is not happy. But Jesus, this day, may, can you, uh, can you bring yourself, become a center of evangelism, where somebody can say, when I come to this church, I feel relieved. Because this is our only rehabilitation center, Jesus. Lord bless us and every soul that has come here and all the families that are represented here, Lord. I know you are going to make them the head and not the tail. And Jesus, one day when we meet again, even in heaven, let us say we fought a good fight because at long last we achieved and we were there where we wanted to be. Lord, I pray that you hear our prayers. Lord, I pray that from here, let our lives change. Lord, I pray that you walk with us in our means, in our tribulations. Lord, I pray that today, let you open our eyes so that we can see the opportunities. Any young person here who does not have a job, this is the day of prayer in this pulpit, Lord. Like this week as we start Monday, Lord, let them be called for an interview in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I know you can do it for us. Because our young people are suffering. Our young people have gone to school and there are no jobs. Our parents are suffering, Lord, because they paid a lot of school fees and there is no return. Jesus, you change situations. I know our situation is not unique to you. Change our situation today, Lord. In your mighty name, we trust and believe. Amen. Amen. And then, when God does for you something good, share it on this pulpit next Sabbath. Amen? Amen. Because He's going to do it. Amen.